Hello, my name is Tom. In today's project, I am going to be editing the DS500.ini file within the DirectSoft 5 software. And what this will do for me is it will allow me to enable and disable some of the COM ports within the software. So I'm going to get started here and scroll down and show you the materials I'll be needing today. It's a very short list. If you follow the hyperlink that I have here, it should take you directly to the web page of the Automation Direct website where the software is located. Now I have a brief project description here. And next I have my step-by-step -step guide. It's only three steps long. It's a pretty simple procedure. And I'm going to scroll through them here real quick. And you can pause it at any time. And I'm coming close to the end here. And that's it for my step-by-step -step guide. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open up the DirectSoft 5 software. So I'm going to come here and go to the DS Launch 5 and double click on it. And if I come down here to Utilities, I can see the file that I'm going to be editing here. And that's the DS500.ini. But first what I'd like to do is show you the com links that are available right now. And the, and the com ports here are 1, 2, 3, 4, Ethernet and modem. So what I'd like to do is get rid of COM3 and 4. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to show you where they're active here and where you can change them. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit down past my projects here and come to this section right here and just below it you can see that it, has, it says COM1 enable equals 1, COM2, COM3, COM4 equals 1. So what I'd like to do is replace these with zeros but what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you another place where you can get this file and if you come here and you go to computer and you open up the C drive and you come down here to windows scroll down and keep coming down where it says DS500 double click on it and scroll down here you have the same notepad file here and you can disable or enable them here also. So if you come here and place a zero where the one is for COM3 and 4, then you come up here and you save, and then you X out of it, and you want to X out of DS launch, and then reopen it. And if I scroll down here to the COM link section, as you can see here, COM ports 3 and 4 are no longer in the uh, ports queue here. So that's the way that you can uh, eliminate some of them COM ports. And that's about the end of this video. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like the video, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.